In this video, I'm going to give you the basic rundown on how to set up your mini pack, elite pack, or really any package that uh, Wi Fi Ranger has sold, which includes an indoor router such as a Wi Fi Ranger Go, a Go 2, or a mini, and an outdoor router such as the Wi Fi Ranger Mobile, Elite, or Sky, or Sky 2. So we're going to uh, just run through it really quick. The first question that people ask is, which wireless signal do I connect my computers and devices to? Do I connect them to the indoor Go or um, Mini, or should I connect them to the outdoor Sky or Elite? And the answer to that question is connected to the indoor unit, the Mini or the Go or whichever uh, indoor device you have. So I'm going to connect my computer up to the uh, Wi-Fi Ranger Mini. And then once it's connected, you bring up the control panel of the indoor unit, in this case the Wi-Fi Ranger Mini. And uh, once you're on the control panel, there's going to be a very important detail here. And that is seen right here under the Wi-Fi box. So when you receive a Wi-Fi Ranger mini pack, elite pack, um, or any other package that we send together, you're going to have two options here. You're going to have the indoor mini, which you can click on, and then you can scan and connect using the indoor mini, or the preferred way is to use the more powerful outdoor unit, in this case the Sky 2, or it would be the Elite. So almost in every case, you will connect your computer to the indoor unit, and then you will connect the Wi-Fi Ranger system to another Wi-Fi network using the outdoor unit, in this case the Sky 2, or it could be the Elite or the Marine 2 or whatever uh, you have on the roof. So almost in every situation you'll want to select the outdoor unit which is always to the right the indoor units to the left then you can click scan and connect and uh, the only case where you might want to use the indoor unit would be if you had say a uh, hotspot phone or uh, a MiFi that is in closer proximity to the indoor mini or go to than it is in relationship to the outdoor unit. You know, the outdoor unit's got to go through the shell of your RV or something like that, so it's more effective to use the indoor unit only in that situation. Almost every other situation, use the outdoor unit. Uh, the next question people always ask is, uh, which control panel do I use? Because uh, both of these products are full wireless routers. Both of them have a control panel. So the question is, should I use the Mini's control panel, the GoTo's control panel, or the outdoor unit? And the answer to that is almost everything is performed on the indoor unit's control panel. It is considered the master device, and then the, uh, the outdoor unit's more of a, just a, a servant device. So use the control panel of the indoor Wi-Fi Ranger, except and when you initially set it up. So when you first get your product, you'll notice that uh, it's got the default broadcast name and password, and uh, you'll want to change those on both the indoor and outdoor Wi-Fi Ranger. So in this case, I'm going to change mine briefly, and uh, we'll just make it look like that. We'll just change that there, click Save, and now you will have to reconnect your computer to this new signal. You'll see here that uh, my Macintosh is going to disconnect from it because that signal is no longer available, and then we'll wait for the new signal to appear. And then I will connect using the new password. And uh, we do have a lot of networks here in our office, so it takes a little while to refresh. All right, so now I've reconnected to my indoor mini, 
I'm back on the control panel. Now go to the setup tab and WFR control seen here that is the feature that controls your outdoor Sky 2, Elite, Marine 2, whatever outdoor product you have uh, consider that um, the WFR control. So I can click view control panel and that simply takes me to the Sky's control panel. You can see here I've got the Sky 2's control panel. It's going to scan and refresh but it's not what I'm concerned with. All I need to do on this control panel is change this to the desired network name um, and password that I want here. And it's a good idea to use the same password. It's not a security risk. If it's your own unique password, um, you can have the exact same password on both your indoor and outdoor Wi-Fi Ranger. So go ahead and click Save. And that is all I need to do on this tab. So I can close out the Sky's control panel. And then the final thing um, that people ask is uh, which um, internet connector should be higher in priority on the setup tab. So again, this is on the setup tab of the mini or the go to. And this is where you determine the sort order or the priority of all your different internet connectors. We have Ethernet WAN, that's basically the extra LAN port on the far left of the Mini or the Go 2, which is used to connect to a cable or DSL modem. This is really only applicable if you're running the Mini or the Go 2 inside a house and you have a hardwired internet for it. Uh, generally, the WFR control unit should be highest in priority because in the real world that's what you're using to connect to all the different uh, Wi-Fi networks in the area. Again, think of this WFR control as your outdoor Wi-Fi ranger, whether that's the mobile, Sky, Sky 2, Elite, Marine 2, all of those are WFR control. Internal Wi-Fi WAN, think of that as the uh, built-in wireless capabilities of your Mini or your Go 2. So typically you're not going to be using that. Um, for most people it's probably cellular in second place. And cellular is the USB port of your Mini or Go 2. Um, so if you're tethering a 3G or 4G air card or MiFi, and you want that as a backup connection, that's what you'll uh, have in second place for the priority. So this is probably a fairly typical uh, order of connection priority, having your outdoor unit first, the USB port of your indoor mini or go-to, then the indoor mini or go-to's wireless capabilities, and then Ethernet WAN. Doesn't really hurt to leave that active um, simply because it only takes a second or two for the Wi-Fi Ranger to try it and then fail or succeed so and you can activate or deactivate certain um, internet connectors based on what you want. Click Save and you're good to go. So that is uh, basically everything involved with the mini pack or the elite pack. Uh, if you have further questions, let us know, but that should really get you configured uh, securely and uh, for optimal performance with a mini pack, elite pack, or any uh, of the other Wi-Fi Ranger packages. Thanks for watching.